thank you for coming um, to this presentation about Omeka. Um, so a very brief introduction into what Omeka is. Um, it's an open source digital exhibit platform that basically can function like an online museum where you can have artifacts um, in collections and sort of give an interpretation to those artifacts. So what we'll start with here is just the absolute basics of uh, uh, uploading an item, putting in a collection, um, and getting a feel for the layout of the platform. <coughs> so as you can see here on the our sort of menu, we have links for items and collections. And again, items are the most basic sort of building blocks of an Omeka exhibit. And so we're going to add an item. So we'll go here in our admin page, we'll click add an item. And first thing I like to do is select a file first, so I make sure that I've done that. And then here on the desktop, I have a, uh, a sort of sample item, a photo from the Goharshad Mosque in Mashhad, Iran. And then we'll go back, once we've uploaded our file, we'll put in uh, the metadata of our uh, uh, item. So this is the information that sort of describes it. Um, and once later when we can click on our item, all this information will be listed. So. So we'll give it a title. We'll scroll down and add a description. And we'll make sure to list our source. This comes from just uh, Wikipedia Commons, but um, for items more restricted by copyright. Uh, law or things we can put, uh, this may, may be more or less uh, important to put in. And then there's all manner of other sort of metadata um, entries here that uh, we're not going to, we're not going to mess with for now, um, but, <laughs> um, but can be important uh, later. <clears throat> so as you can see here, once we're ready to add our item, over here on the right is uh, that we choose what collection it goes into. So. Uh, this is a photograph of a mosque, so we're going to put this in our uh, monuments collection. This will make more sense once I show the actual exhibit. So we pick a collection, but you'll notice that you can only pick one collection. You can't put anything, uh, you cannot split this item between two different sort of uh, orbits. It has to stay in one or the other. So we'll put it in monuments for now. We'll add the item. Um, and then we're going to go to our collections page. And here we see world monuments. And we can actually view the page in public. So this is the, the public facing website. And we can now see our photograph here. And when we click it, we now have all of the metadata that we just entered. So we can see the title, the description, um, our source, and a file that we can click and conveniently make larger so we can examine it more closely. <coughs> So the question that really this presentation is about is, what do we do if we want to display an item in multiple ways? If we want to do that in traditional Omeka, we're very limited because uh, once we update this item, this artifact, we place it into a collection and it's sort of fixed into that collection. The Omeka's justification is to say that much like an artifact in a museum can only be in one place, uh, uh, an artifact, an item on, uh, the, in the digital exhibit should only be in one collection. But we're going to try and think about how can we sort of skirt that rule um, using this sort of uh, uh, thinking of digital sort of online exhibitions as more transformative and more flexible than traditional physical ones. So one solution to this <coughs> is uh, this plugin called an exhibit, the Exhibit Builder. And this is from the Roy Rosenzweig Center for History and New Media at um, George Mason University. Um, and so I've already installed this, but to install it, just head to the, uh, your admin page again, up here where it says plugins. We click that. And I believe it comes default as an option for all Omeka platforms. So uh, I don't think you'll need to search to find it. Anyways, you'll just hit the install button. Um, once it's installed, here on the left on our um, admin menu, you'll see a new uh, link for exhibits. And so that's what we'll go into now and explore how this can work. <coughs> So I have a, a sort of example exhibit set up here called World History Question Mark, signifying uh, how critical and uh, self-reflexive I am, of course. <laughs> um, 
And so here, here is what it looks like on our public facing page, right? There's a sort of, um, you can see, you can browse from exhibits, and we can go into ours, and we can see the different pages that I've uh, entered in here. I've used a sort of musical metaphors just to reinforce the kind of different interpretations that we're going for here, but you can name these um, anything that you like. So we'll go back to our exhibits, and we'll go into the edit um, uh, to, to sort of see how this works. The edit page is the same as the add page, so if, if you're adding a new exhibit, the page will look uh, exactly like this. <coughs> and so we're allowed to put in a title for our exhibit. Uh, we get to pick uh, a sort of slug, so the ending of the URL, so we can really make that and customize that and make it what we want. Um, we can add a description, um, different tags, choose your theme, um, and we can even add a cover image here. I've selected an image of Moria Terraces, um, uh, but we can put anything there, a sort of thumbnail to go with the exhibit. <coughs> and then the sort of meat of the exhibit are these pages. So here in the Add Exhibit uh, uh, page, you can there's this option here at the bottom to add pages, and you can sort of customize those in many different ways. And the pages, uh, in the way I'm presenting this, are kind of like the different sight lines you have on an object. So if we want to, if the object, the purpose is to see how many, what are different ways we can put, use the same object from multiple different interpretations or different angles, um, these pages are a means of doing that. <coughs> so first let's go in and edit our variation two, which is our um, uh, monuments uh, uh, page. So you can see again, I can add a title, a page slug custom for this. Um, and if you see here, um, when you add a block for the page, you can choose different layouts. So you can add a, a, photo, a file with a, a sort of description, a gallery of many things, text by itself, or uh, just a large file. For this purpose, I've gone with, um, I believe I've gone, yeah, I've gone with the gallery here, because I'm putting several different sort of files together under this heading of monuments. And so I'll just demonstrate quickly how to add an item. It's very straightforward. You click Add Item. We'll select our photograph of the Goharshad Mosque, and we'll apply it. <coughs> and then we'll go view that in our. Say what? You may have to save it. Oh yeah, I do have to save. Yeah, make sure to hit save <laughs> changes before you do that. Okay, then so here we go. And now in our the public facing page, in our second variation under monuments, we now have our mosque. So we can see it both in the items, in the collections. Again, under World Monuments, here it is. And now under uh, our second variation in our exhibits. But the real sort of transformative part of this comes when we sort of use another page to re-examine the, um, uh, the, the same file, the same item. So if we also want to think of the mosque as more than just a monument. So here, this would be something like a traditional Omega collection where I have a heading monuments and under it several um, files and items, right? But if I want to say this, these photographs or these items are not just monuments but maybe something else, the pages are our sort of tool for doing that. <coughs> so to show that, we're going to go back to our admin page, back to exhibits, and edit it. And we're going to go down here to our next variation, variation And so this is a, a sort of way to think about monuments as maps as well, and maps as monuments. So that's just the example that I've used here uh, teaching a, a world history course. <coughs> so I have multiple blocks here. I have the first one, this is the text, sort of an introduction. I have a, a block examining uh, this item, another item, and so we're going to add a third uh, block here for our mosque. We're going to add our item to it. And then we'll add a description. An interesting creative interpretation, no doubt. And uh, and we can examine our layout options here and choose our uh, alignment. So we're going to choose it left, full side, captions in the center. That looks good. And so we're going to save our changes and then view this 
once more. So here we have our, uh, our stupa, here we have our Aladrissi map from the 12th century, and then now we have again our uh, Goharshad mosque. <clears throat> and so again, the advantage of this is that to think of these as sort of pseudo collections, these pages, right, we can now see our item in multiple uh, uh, ways. We can see it as a monument, and then here we can see it as a map as well. So giving us a sort of more multifaceted, uh, more flexible interpretations. <coughs> and then here I at the end have added a sort of uh, 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 a coda, a sort of uh, conclusion page on my exhibit. Um, and again we can add this not just to two but to multiple um, pages. And here I'll add our mosque item once more to another page. I'll apply it. I'll save the changes. And then I'll view our public page. And then now we can see here at the end of uh, the inclusion of our new item. So uh, are there any questions? That's more or less the <laughs> presentation. Yes. 